Hey everyone, Starry Blue here. I hope y'all are having a fantastic day so far, and yes, my voice does in fact exist. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing an incredibly affordable drawing tablet, the Gaumont S620. To test it, I ended up creating this little run cycle that you see here, and I'll be showing the process for this animation later in the video. Now, this is the first time I've ever been contacted to review anything on my channel, so I was super excited to receive this tablet. Gaumon sent it to me about two weeks back, and I gotta say, it's a really good tablet. I've included the link to it in both the description and comment sections for this video in case anyone wants to check it out. So, with that said, let's get into the review. The Gaumon S620 is a very affordable drawing tablet that can be used for a wide variety of purposes with a wide variety of programs, such as Photoshop, Clip Studio Paint, Paint Tool Sci, Krita, and Fire Alpaca, among many others. It's supported by computers that run Windows or Mac OS, and it's also compatible with certain types of Android phones. It's also super lightweight, which makes it a great tablet to take along while traveling. It's great for both beginning and skilled artists and sits at a price of about $39. Yep, only $39. I hardly ever see tablets at this low of a price, even when they're on sale. And now that I've tried it out, I can say for sure that this is an absolutely incredible tablet for that low of a price, and it's well worth the purchase. The first thing I noticed was that the tablet comes in a very nice box. I'm guessing something happened during transit because one of the corners of the box was slightly smushed, but even then, everything inside was perfectly safe and sound. This tablet has a work area of 6.5 by 4 inches and has four programmable buttons at the very top. It comes with a battery-free pen, which is a huge plus for me, and the pen is very comfortable to hold, even with my weird grip. The box I received also came with a micro USB cable to plug it in and replacement nibs, as well as a pen nib case to keep these new nibs from running off to the four corners of my room. In my opinion, one of the most notable things about this tablet is that it can run without a driver. When I first plugged it in, I was able to use it despite having no driver for it. I did end up downloading it so that I could adjust the pen pressure to my preferences, as well as to set the monitor that I wanted to work on, but it really does work without the driver. Once I had it set up, I immediately started to make test doodles on a new canvas. Some of them are just silly, but it helped me get a feel of how it worked, especially since it's been years since I've tried drawing while looking up at my computer screen. This tablet recognizes 8,192 levels of pen pressure, which is the same as my Wacom Cintiq 16, and eight times more than my old Intuos comic. It felt very natural to me, and I was able to warm myself up to using it much quicker than I was expecting. Now, something I don't mention often is that I'm an active OSU player, which is why I was so excited to hear that this tablet is designed with both artists and rhythm gamers in mind. Prior to receiving this, I always used my Wacom Intuos comic to play. So I opened the game and, wow, I was very pleasantly surprised. The tablet is super responsive, and while it took me a few songs to get used to the slightly larger work area, I was soon beating high scores that I set years ago and completing tracks that I never have before. I play Osu a bit differently than most people I see. In this case, I tap the pen to the tablet while using the X key for streams and other quick bits. Even doing this though, I was surprising myself at just how good it felt to play on this tablet. It's pretty safe to say that this is going to be the tablet I use for this game from now on. I have a very heavy hand, so I did accidentally wear the pen nib down to a point, but it hasn't affected my use of the tablet at all. It's a good thing that I have extra nibs. <laughs> but eventually I had to pull myself away from the circles and finish the other part of this review. The animation! As I said before, I do all of my art and animation on my Cintiq 16, so I'm very used to looking down at a screen while drawing. Since this type of drawing was going to be something I hadn't done for a good long while, I decided to make something simple. The character in this animation is Eli, a cat Sona that I made for myself recently. I know how to quickly animate cats, and I know how to quickly animate run cycles, so I went with that to test everything out. The tablet was incredibly responsive, and the pen pressure sensitivity I had it set to felt very natural to draw with. I may or may not have made the mistake of trying to animate a striped pattern in a few days, but it still worked out in the end, and I'm honestly quite happy with the result. 
When animating, I usually break the process up into chunks. I'll animate the base before anything else, and then when doing lines, I'll start with the head first, then the ears, then bits of fur, and so on. It just makes it easier for my brain to process and overall makes the animation more enjoyable for me to finish. When doing line art, I use Clip Studio's vector layers to keep the quality consistent whenever I have to resize something. Something that I really enjoyed about using this tablet is how well the pen pressure translated over when drawing because I was able to make very noticeable and clean variations in my line weight with ease. It was definitely a pleasant surprise to have pen pressure similar to my usual screen tablet on a much smaller tablet, and it made the overall animation process very fun. So, all this being said, what are my final thoughts on the Galmon S620? Well. I believe this tablet would be an amazing choice for anyone of any skill level who wants a portable, affordable tablet that works like a charm. It was a slight learning curve, or a, I guess relearning curve, to remember how to draw while looking up at my computer screen, but it was much easier to get used to than I expected, and I ultimately had a lot of fun using it. It's responsive, it's precise, and overall, it is absolutely worth getting, especially at its low selling price. Would I recommend it? Yes, absolutely. Just want to say a quick thank you so much to Gaumon for reaching out to me to send this tablet for the review. I had a blast using it and I'll definitely be continuing to use it for a good long while. To everyone who stayed to watch this review and animation process, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see y'all later.